안녕하세요, everyone. Hello, my name is Nathan, and I'm a native English teacher with Epic here in South Korea. In this video, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the Epic program, what the benefits are to teaching with Epic, and why I chose to come to South Korea. So let's get started. Epic English program in Korea is a government-run program that places teachers in cities uh, all around the country to teach English, obviously. They accept applicants from the US, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, the UK, Ireland, and South Africa. I think that's all of them. There are seven of them. Most of the positions are with elementary school students. There are occasional opportunities to work with middle or high school students, but those are a little bit harder to come by, so chances are when you apply to Epic, you are applying for an elementary school position. The government runs the program, so it's very stable, it's very secure, and it's been around for a long time. So it's highly regarded and well-known in the international ESL community. It's known to be very prestigious and very reputable. In addition to that, it also offers what I found to be the best benefits uh, to native English teachers of any country or any program that you will find in the world. So what are those benefits? They are a nice, nice monthly salary of around $2,000. In addition to that, your housing is provided by the school. Yes! So you don't have to pay rent or anything like that, which is awesome. You just need to cover utilities and internet and things like that, which are very, very low. So it's very easy to save money while living in Korea. When you come to Korea, they will reimburse you for your airfare. And then when you return home, they will underwrite those travel expenses as well. As far as vacation days are concerned, they give you 18 paid vacation days split between winter and summer vacation. And that's in addition to all of the national holidays. So a really nice good amount of vacation time that you can use to either explore Korea or go somewhere else in Southeast Asia. Uh, this past year I went to Cambodia and Thailand in the winter and in the summer that's coming up I hope to go to Malaysia and Singapore. As far as class sizes go they range between about 20 and 25 students on average I would say. I know plenty of teachers who work with groups that are smaller than that but I haven't heard of anyone working with groups above the 25 to 26 size. So that's nice, they're manageable. And in the public school setting with Epic, you are working with a co-teacher 90 to 95% of the time. And as you probably know, Korea is a really technologically advanced country in many ways, and that includes the way classrooms are set up. You have access to wireless internet, uh, well, maybe not wireless, but I have, I have Ethernet in my, in my classroom. But it's still really fast, really reliable, really great and convenient to have. And if there isn't some sort of projector type system in the classroom, then there's at least like a big screen monitor that you connect your computer to. So you can use lots of PowerPoint games, PowerPoint presentations, and things like that to make your lessons more dynamic. YouTube videos, regular videos, all that kind of stuff. So those are... Uh, the benefits of Epic and a little bit about the program. Finally, why I decided to come to Korea specifically, in addition to all of those great reasons that I just mentioned, was that um, basically I was looking for adventure. That's about it. And Korea uh, offered that and more the way I saw it. It has a great history that the country is really, really proud of. It has a really unique uh, and very strong culture that it's also really equally proud of. Everything from K-pop, K-dramas, to the food. Uh, the food is really, really good. It's a little spicy for me. <laughs> Typical Westerner, but I like it. Language is relatively easy to learn. I wouldn't say it's easy, um, but compared to Japanese or Chinese or any other Asian language, I think it's easy because the alphabet is phonetic, so all of the characters in the alphabet have a very specific sound and once you know that sound you can like literally just sound out the words and that gives you a nice head start to learning the language. The scenery is gorgeous, it's so beautiful here. The country is 70% mountains which means you're basically surrounded all the time by beautiful towering peaks and Koreans love to hike, they love to be outdoors so there's lots of opportunities to be active whether it's hiking, walking, picnicking, bike riding, uh, canoeing, 
there's lots of rivers that run through all these cities and stuff. There's always a lot going on in Korea in terms of like festivals and things to do and things to see. Since I've been here, I've been to a, uh, a fireworks festival in Busan. I've been to a lantern festival in Jinju. I went to a cherry blossom festival in Jinha. A mask festival in Andong. A sea party festival in Jindo, Jeju Island. Seoul obviously is its own beast with lots of different things to do. And then there are several big national parks and when it comes to traveling within different cities in Korea, um, buses and trains and even flights are really accessible and uh, reasonably priced. So traveling is really easy and uh, very, very possible. So that's an overview of EPIC and the program and a little bit about why I wanted to come to Korea. If that sounds like something that you're interested in and you want to learn more, then I recommend you reach out to the folks at Reach to Teach. Haha, <laughs> but I'm Jing, reach out to the folks at Reach to Teach, pun not intended, um, to find out more. They can help you uh, learn about the application process and stuff like that. Uh, they are the agency that I used uh, to get my job in Korea, so they're a big part of why I'm here, and um, I highly recommend them. To learn more about why reach to teach was my number one choice of a recruiting agency, feel free to check out the previous video. You can also find a lot of great information about teaching opportunities, teacher blogs, and more on the reach to teach website, www.reachtoteachrecruiting.com. Thank you for watching, and uh, maybe see you in Korea. 안녕히 가세요.